Welcome. So once again, uh, this is the second video I'm shooting here in Las Vegas, Nevada. If you didn't see the first one, uh, yes, your spiritual yoga teacher comes to Las Vegas periodically and enjoys playing the game of poker. So I talked about that in, in my stories on life, my relationship with math and poker. And I'd like to talk a little bit now about gambling issues about life. And I want to start with a major disclaimer. Gambling can be hazardous to your financial health. Gambling can be addictive. Gambling, uh, that, that rush, that endorphin rush, some people cannot handle gambling. If you are one of those people, don't even watch this video. This video is going to give you a handle on gambling. But uh, if, if your emotions take over um, the, the intelligence and the logic of this video won't matter. I wanna to talk to you about the cost of entertainment. As long as you enjoy playing a game, going to a casino, uh, uh, and the amount you lose is what the entertainment is worth, then you cannot lose. This is the idea, but with your head not over it. This is an entertainment business. If, if the amount you pay is what you would pay for that entertainment anyway, the possibility you could win is a bonus. But the entertainment value is what it's about. Look, they don't build these buildings by letting you win. The odds are four. If you think you can overcome those odds, that's not logical. So the question comes down to how much are you paying for the entertainment? So let's put a few numbers with it. And that is that let's just say the entertainment is worth $100. You're, you would go out and you would spend $100 on a concert or a good meal on a uh, and a movie or a or hundred dollars. Now, if you are playing a game in which the odds are 10% against you, if the, if the casino is taking 10%, then you're only going to be able to play about a thousand dollars and you will be expected to lose a hundred dollars. And you'd be surprised how fast a thousand, you think a thousand dollars, well, it's a $5 bet. Well, before you know it, in an hour, hour and a half, that's why the games go by so fast. They understand it. They have the numbers in their favor. If you can play to a 2% advantage, then you could play for $5,000 worth of action. That percentage really has an effect on the cost of your entertainment. Now, that's why it's worth learning something about the games in which you are playing. Look, I have learned a lot about a deck of cards. I've learned a lot about poker. I've been playing poker since college. Uh, and one of the secrets, and I would tell you the secret, is that I started out playing in the freshman dorms for nickels and dimes. But I always put my winnings in a wallet. And my losses came out of that wallet. I didn't take money out of that wallet to do anything else with. And I didn't pay for my losses with, with the food money. And the point is, I understand the numbers. I understand a deck of cards. I know how to play the game. One of the jokes is my, my uh, nickname in, in college was Lucky Larry. I always thought it was a bit of an insult. Uh, they were giving me credit for what I understood about the game. Poker is about percentages and numbers, making good plays, limiting any odds against you. And if you're playing against weaker opponents, then the odds are with you. I don't like playing against the casino. The nice thing about coming out for the World Series of Poker, where I am now, is that I'm playing against other people. Yes, the house is taking its rake, but if I'm that much better than the players that I'm playing with, 
I have last, last night, I was at a very big tournament. There were 8,000 players. I lasted to about 1,800 and there was a very big hand. And in that hand, I had a 90% chance of winning and being vaulted into not so much chip leadership, but into the upper echelons of the, of the uh, tournament. I had a 90% chance of winning. And lo and behold, my opponent, but the only, one of the only two cards that could beat me. And I was out of the tournament. The tournament was worth it. Tournament cost is my limited, is the, is the limit of my loss. Uh, I had a great time. I played for hours and hours and hours and outlasted over 6,000 players. Have fun. Stay balanced. Learn perspective. Try and try and lower your cost. Make sure that cost, the entertainment, is worth that cost. Then you'll all be winners. In the next video, I will talk about bad luck. Love you all. Have a blessed day from Las Vegas, Nevada. Keep the odds in your favor. Namaste.